Dear yeah, friends, I welcome you all to another video. I wanted to do a kind of a brief chat study for myself. Then I thought, why not just share this idea with uh, others who might be interested in trading the pound, USD pair, right? It will really be an interesting session for you and me and learn more about myself. And hopefully you will learn more about the strategy that I use to trade. And of course, you can implement it into your strategy or probably you just learn the strategy from a fresh so to say all right so by the way my name is clinton i would love to be called trader clint if you are new to this channel please i will appreciate you subscribe to this channel smash the like button to help others see this message without wasting more of our time let's go straight to the business of the day all right so guys i did publish um an idea on trading view you can go check it out right if you're right there of course on my website clientowners.com you can go check it out right i will updating i will be updating these ideas as we uh go along the week so it will be really nice if you guys go check it out all right cool that's just by the way so let's get started let's open a new chart uh so i don't get to obstruct or rather i don't get to redo that uh idea that i already shared because i need to track it as we go along this week all right so that's just it so here's the trend line let's go start from a monthly chart on the monthly chart what do we see we can see the monthly chart is kind of uh correcting um the uh the downward movement right this is the down movement series of months right uh due to the interest rate uh that is currently skyrocketing right the interest rate i can't a huge massive sell-up because the dollar was just so strengthening right so now the uh, dollar um dollar index is uh it's being sold right right now right there's considerable downward movement, so that is what is being reflected in. Uh, where is where's, where's, where's the chart I was looking at? Oh my god, I think we we'll have to open it again. Uh, okay, that's what it's that was that was what it represented here, yeah, right? So, kind of have a, like a big relief, right? Uh, the next um, FOMC session or the rate hike session, or right, is it FOMC? the uh jeremy powell's session of uh what's it called this is fmc okay fmc session the next fmc meeting we don't know if there's going to be a further rate i call probably will leave the record change are they going to continue being hawkish or dovish who know let's wait and see so as you can see we are currently heading slightly upward right kind of correcting this move and that's the huge price uh, movement if you are considering uh, the lower time frame. So we can clearly see the last four months has been bullish. So I likely see a bullish uh, pressure and um, probably until we get to um, somewhere around here. Uh, there might be a resistance somewhere around here. Okay the my likely see the price reversing we were considering this uh monthly chart so going down to um the weekly chart the weekly time frame let's clear the drawing what can we see here all right uh we still uh similar to what we saw on the uh, monthly time frame right the hop trending right so you can clearly see the price is the price just cleared this region right close above it so we should see a considerable movement to the upside right that is for the weekly time frame so let's go over to the daily time frame daily time frame of course uh it's kind of like a closer mirror view of what we've been talking about right so it's also uh bullish momentum if i would like to use a brief a little strategy that i use to measure right uh, kind of 
see that we should see price seeing some um, reverse around this region after of course clearing the liquidity in this eye right i think that that eye was printed somewhere around the 14th of uh, december right of course i stated it on my uh, review my idea and of course on my website more detailed right you can go check it out clintonos.com right you can go check it out so that's that for the daily so i expect next week the price is likely gonna push upward to um to this target right that's what i think will happen and of course might happen who knows right so that's that for for our time frame for our time frame obviously you can see it's uh it's bullish right it's bullish it's a bull run right after the spike so a spike here after the spike then price went channeling right so uh if price break this trend line my likely see price coming to rebalance this um this uh, uh what was it called there now this uh inefficiency so to say it's kind of like price correcting this uh, at least 50 percent level market likes to do that a lot to so i expect that price is uh price is going to come to somewhere around uh, 1.220 to 33 and of course probably the uh the psychological level the big number at 1.2 who knows of course it's just a forecast price might just continue break this and continue upward without even looking back but having that in mind is also good right because the price has been bullish at least uh we expect uh a kind of a retest retracement whichever one you want to call it right a retracement a correction to happen which also stated in this idea published here so you can go check it out if you want more details okay friends so that's that and uh uh let's just drop to 15 minutes uh 30 minutes will be very family uh, very similar to 15 minutes is all we'll be talking about we're just having kind of like uh, a zoom view a closer mirror view so here if you followed what i discussed as uh last week of course i told you guys that i visited my my trade somewhere around i think okay no i didn't enter a trade at all on friday but on thursday i visited my trade early because uh, not early so to say the price wasn't moving on I have limited time because I needed to do something else. So I had to exit my trade break even. So, and uh, Friday I didn't trade because I was hoping that price is going to do what I want, right? Right? Price has to do what I want, what I think it should be doing for I engage. So, what I thought was price is going to, is going to uh, close uh, below this level then see reversal pattern of course price did, did close below this level but there was a breakout right what i mean breakout is here right price is broke out of the range i was watching the fibonacci range i was watching price broke out and of course after breaking out uh it did closed above it but there was no confirmation confirmation that I wanted to see price clearing this swing eye then i'll look for the retracement for entry but price never did that and price went to the target i wasn't expecting of though i had that in mind this is one of my targets right for the down though i didn't take a trade to the downside because my bias is bullish and of course i have to stick to that bias until a higher time frame paints a different scenario before i can start looking um to uh, the opposite direction so that's that so of course i did mention before i ended my video that 
I was already seeing a sign that price is, uh, is changing, right? I think somewhere here, if price closed below here, it's going to go up. And of course, you can see price did uh, traded or uh, rallied to the upside. Of course, I expect uh, this liquidity around this region to be taken in totality. That's what I've been saying all through last week, right? I expect this eye to be to be crashed, right? I expect price to crash this level, then we'll look for a potential reversal or a continuation upward. So, friends, that's it for uh pounds USD. Okay, so uh this is this album kind of like uh has an inverse relationship, the DSY and pounds because the pounds is the base currency uh in terms of this pair right here right the base currency then the the the, the dollar is what the uh the paired currency right so who knows probably they please comment section below oh, guys your guys should go to the comment section let me know what's up right let me know if i need to have a better presentation mood of course i'm learning more about myself right it's not like i'm new here but kind of like off and on i want to make this kind of let me make it a full time right can i make it a full time that just by the way friends so uh you go you go you go to the comment section of course if you want us to look at any particular chat at all of course the comment section below the comment is your friend use the comment smart the like button oh my god i didn't tell you guys to do that smart the like button subscribe 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 and share with friends and family all right so that's that um yeah, of course the dsy what 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 do i expect the dsy to do of course yes why should continue downward right if um if uh the fomc uh fed fed rate what is the fed rate meeting let's just quickly go we are, we are supposed to look at our calendar though i did analyze on my website right and of course on trade review what i'm expecting this week i think because february 1st that we have uh february 1st right all right your fed fed rate is federal funds rate not like for mc also is that for mc right federal is it or was it federal open market committee monetary policy whatever i'm an economist but a lot to think about than to start putting all this into whatever all right friends so that just by the way i'm sorry i i need to know this right and of course i promise you guys i'll go learn more about and talk to them in my brain okay so um yeah first first of february so if first of february they leave the rate or change right that would be really good news for the market at least we know that that is the peak and of course the the sell pressure will be more more than this that we are currently Person, right? Really more, right? And if that's more, of course, that's going to push uh, this currency pair, this currency pair, more bullish, right? Of course, the NASDAQ is going to, ah, now NASDAQ is going to have a really good fun time, right? Of course, uh, SPS, all the index, and of course, uh, I think the Bitcoin, Bitcoin should also see a really nice bo bullish, uh, bullish pull. Oh, do, do we do another pair, right? I like sticking to a single pair. Do I have marked these pairs? They are my favorite, right? Because they are widely traded and the volatility sometimes is good, right? Although NAS and uh, the index, they are more volatile, but... Uh, Kind of like they don't align with my time before uh the new york session will start trading and for the um the cme will be opened i'm very tired by then because of other activities that i need to engage so i like that money rush and that money rush is usually on um, panned usd just take the money rush whatever happens later is really not my business but it should be my business anyway but but who knows what can't you do just look at any of this 
Okay, uh, let's just spend uh, briefly, 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 briefly. It's okay. You, it's obvious, right? Coming down, correcting, right? It's been happening for a series of uh, the. Uh, it peaked somewhere around. Uh, what is this? Uh, somewhere around uh, December. 2000 and okay this is a monthly chart pick december 2021 right okay and uh since then it's been dropping because of the fed uh, fund rate hike right so if they slow down hiking the rate we should see a kind of like uh, a bull right or uh, if they keep hiking might likely see the price still going down but not so significant because the, the last basic point was 0.5 right as against uh the 75 that has been the standard for for, for for quite some time so probably next next uh, first of february we should see something around maybe 0.25 right that would be nice Oh, but I think they are gonna do fifty basis point. That's what I think they are. They are gonna do. I think they said they said. Um, Powell said uh, the the uh, the target is five point one, right? I will go check it out. Of course, guys, leave the comment section below if I'm right or wrong, right? I think it's five five point one. That's the overall target, right? So. Where are, where are they right now? Let's see global interest rate. Global interest rates. Where are we right now here? Okay, we are at um, global interest rate, US dollar. I think this should be zoomed. I, I, I guess there are better ways to do this. Please, comment section below. Let me learn. I want to know. So, oh, make it faster and stop wasting time. Where is US dollar now? United States of America. Fed. Okay, Fed is number one. Okay, we are currently at uh, uh, this uh, five, 4.5. So if they do 50, that's gonna be five. Oh, okay, why not? Let it go. But they can't go 75 anyway. I think they can't go 75. Okay, maybe they will do that. Who knows? Whatever they do. <laughs> Yeah, definitely gonna announce it. So that's that by the way. You kind of like see uh the price is holding at this up uh, this uh the support level, right? As I was seeing right now, the uh, weekly time frame, the support level, right? So price is bouncing off, retested, price reached for rich, grab this liquidity, bounce off, retested, is bouncing off again. So my likely see a continuation to the upside right next week although ah uh, okay uh, this looks too clean mm -hmm. i might push down who knows but i think it's going to continue upward to um somewhere around this level right if i want to be accurate I think I should do a measurement of this. Okay, so yeah, this the fire kind of like the complete before I know the target. So somewhere around here, somewhere around uh, twelve four ninety, twelve four ninety. There, the price might likely reach for twelve four ninety, clearing this liquidity reach for. But this low, this low is too tempting. Too tempting from the market maker i would like to do this then push up grab everybody here push up out fortunately i'm not the market maker right so whatever they want to do we'll follow them along right so that's that that's that that's that and uh it's a similar right you just have a closer view and make better and informed decision what i can see here right what i can see here looking at this if i am to use uh, my measurement use my measurement for four hours i think we should see a reverse already 
for us. Yeah. Obviously. 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 But we already the first target already hit. Alright. Second target is here. Price is gonna come here. Because final target is here. Uh what I think is gonna gonna happen, I think it's gonna continue because this pressure is really, really much. So we should see a continuation. I'll see a push back to this level before the continuation. Right? But as it is at the moment, right? Uh if I were to be long for our time frame, I should have visited my position somewhere around here. That if I'm patient enough to wait that long, I should have uh, visited my position here. Then um Although, we can't just say this is going to reverse yet because we are yet to close above this target, right? But it's really better if price close above it, right? Then do what I mean is this last bullish bar for our time frame closed above this target. Am I accurate? I think I have to check this. Okay. Pardon me, guys. Let me see. All right, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right away. Okay. Okay. I think, I think, uh, okay. Right there. Wow. Wow. So we already closed, um, we already closed above it. Of course, we saw this rejection. Ah, man. I would love to see um, price this level holding the price to just... I want to see the Nas coming down. Okay. I don't know. Probably, oh, oh, oh. That, that looks really kind of dicey. That's why I think this region is just not too, too nice for me. I believe... I really don't know. I think I need more information about the moment this consolidated for a very long time around this region, right? So price might likely stick until we have a clear path for the Fed, right? Price might likely just consolidate around this level then break out. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But from what I see for us doing right now, Fast target if you're taking the first target. So my likely just take this eye, then push down kind of like uh, ABC correction, then probably before we move upward, right? That's what I think. So I should be rooting for the second target, right? Should be rooting for the second target somewhere around here. So pride my like to see rejection around this level, push to this level, right? Then maybe leave all this liquidity and push upwards. Okay, so I think that that's reasonable to, to think, that's reasonable to project. All right, so all right, friends. So, all right, that's it for today, friends. So, I hope you enjoyed the session and I'll, I'll look forward to doing this again. Let me know what exactly you want us to be discussing. I will appreciate your feedback and, of course. It will help the channel to reach more people. Of course, that's the goal. Of course, guys, let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. I will be so grateful if you can help me do that. Just smash the like button, like the video, recommend the video to your friends and family. And before you look, we'll be at 1,000. That will really mean a lot to me, friends. I will really appreciate if you do that. So, 